Yeah, we're back to sort of Saturday, Friday, Saturday kind of level. For some reason my sound level is really messed up. Yeah, it's because of the bloody Joe Peter thing, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, I, 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 yeah, my sound level is completely screwed, it's all over the place. Especially when I'm in the game, and the game now now sounds too low. And, uh, yeah, loud. yeah. It's very... <laughs> Probably you turned, uh, your, you, you turned up your Windows sound, you say, and then it, you've forgotten all the settings, and it's like, ugh. I have to have my in-game. I'm so glad yeah, I just put... quite quiet. And you don't want to get in, in, into arguments with old Rupert 117, he looks like he's some sort of bleep mercenary or something. Have you seen his picture? Yeah, I talked to him about PM, PM, I said. Yeah. He's got to be some sort of um, mercenary or something like that. Sierra no, Leone. Um, he's done, yeah, I mean, they, they used to call them, they used to call them mercenaries. Nowadays they call them private military contractors or, you know, this kind of stuff. Like, we have a lot of people like that, actually, because we used to have them in, in all the shitholes that I used to work in. So yeah, I'd like they were not really interesting stories. We had them with a lot of uh, French Foreign Legion as well, where in Algeria because obviously they speak French. Yeah. Well, I'd be buggered if I'm going into, you know, like proper Africa. I mean, Northern Africa was a, wasn't was well, it was dangerous because of the terrorists, but you know, malaria and all these nasty diseases you can get. I mean, well, I put it in that post. Like one of my mates was out in Western Sahara. And he'd been working there quite a bit, and he was supposed to be all right. He thought he was okay, you know. And um, anyway, he'd left a bottle of water by the side of his bed. And this bearing in mind, this guy didn't even drink. Um, he knew he used to drink a little bit, but he, he's very, very healthy. He lives in the uh, Dolomites in Italy, cycles loans, all this kind of stuff. And uh, they reckon the room boy had come in, seen his bottle of water was kind of, uh, you know, it was half empty or something, and maybe topped it up from the tap and got fucking hepatitis. He, he started feeling ill by the time he got off the plane he was rushed to hospital, ended up in a coma for like several weeks. Um, really close to death, you know. And, uh, yeah, it's, Sounds it's like a nice liberal. experience. Yeah, it's really bad. That's what I mean, this kind of shit could happen to you. In the places I worked, you'd get your freaking head chopped off. It was dangerous as hell. But we didn't realise, really, we were just getting dumb, you know. We were paid so badly, that's the worst thing. I was getting paid when I, you wouldn't even, well, you'd just laugh, I mean, it was like, you know, if you're working somewhere like that, I think I was probably earning about £22,000 a year, you know, when I first died in Algeria, if that. Uh, air hostesses, <laughs> when we were flying home, the air hostesses probably earned twice as much as the people as we did. Get okay, long download time, because I haven't deleted the mission files, that's okay, can live with that, cancel, right, I think we're in business. I'm looking forward to the new season of Game of Thrones. Yeah, I definitely think Jon Snow is a Zora High. That I think he's going to come back at some point. Uh, I'm, I'm quite sure they already confirmed he's not dead. Yeah. Um, Jon I think. Snow's not dead. Uh, no, I think what's going to happen is uh, Stannis. Is everybody up to the the last yes. season? Yeah. When Jon Snow, I, I'm, I'm up to when Jon Snow. Yeah, I just don't want to, if yeah, anybody... Bring him back to life. Yeah, so, um, you remember that uh, Stannis uh, burned his daughter, oh, basically, yeah. for basically for a gift of the gods or whatever, like doing a contract with the devil or something. I think that uh, that crazy rich, uh, rich person, uh, M Melisandre or whatever her name is, uh, I think she's gonna... You know, like she said, uh, you never know what the, the Lord of Light is going to give you. So maybe, uh, because Stannis didn't really get anything good out of that. And uh, her magic seems to work, like killing uh, his, his little brother and stuff in, in the past. And So I guess maybe that uh, this will come back and somehow she saves him. That's yeah. what I, I think. 
Well, I think Azora High, because obviously that's the saviour, isn't it? It's either going to be Daenerys, Daenerys or Jon Snow or both of them, I think. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, there, there's supposed to be three uh, dragon riders, and I think uh, the third one is probably uh, Tyrion. Yeah. Because uh, it's it's not quite sure if he's actually uh, a Lannister, uh, because there was what this the crazy fuck? stuff going on with the Mad King and stuff, and he's supposedly the son of the Mad King. Yeah. Uh, and. Basically, all the, uh, all the, God, what's the, I haven't read the books and it's ages ago that I read them, uh, the, uh, Targaryens, that's the name, Targaryens, the, the Targaryens, they, they kill their mothers on birth and stuff, and like, Daenerys' mother died, uh, Jon's mother supposedly died, and, uh, yeah, and, and Tyrion's mother as well, so that would fit. Oh yeah, Jon Snow is definitely a Targaryen without a doubt. I think that's going to definitely happen, isn't it? Yeah, he's 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 the son of uh, Rhaegar and uh, Lyanna Stark, I think. I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna uh, know by the end of the season. I think they're yeah. ready to uh, show us. Well, oh, it's uh, in about a week and a half, isn't it? Something like that it comes out, I think. Uh, I think, yeah, they, they always start in April. Can I just interrupt uh, you guys with one sack? Right, everything's working. Oh, nice. Good. I'll be, uh, I'll be back in five minutes. Um, right. um, so I'm going to stay long day and then let's just try and get this thing rolling if we can. I'll see, yeah. see what happens. I think the hound's going to survive as well. I don't think he's going to die. He's either going to be raised from the dead or he's going to survive, I think. Do you, do you guys watch it in English or do you watch it in yeah, German? Yeah, English, definitely. English. I, I read all the books in English and I hope that uh, George R. R. Martin finishes the books before he dies of overeating or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a big lad, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how uh, how much the international media is really interested in it, but have you heard about uh, uh, the, the Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan and the whole stuff of the how he's trying to censor German media now? Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, th th to be honest with you guys, you know, the, 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 the you know, the censorship of, well, I mean, media in general is, is happening on a, on, a on a regular basis now, isn't it? I mean, I don't believe half of what I hear in the news, you know, I tend to dig yeah, yeah. Yeah. various but it's, websites, you know. It's interesting when, when a country like Turkey tries to yeah. now censor media in, a, in, a, in another sovereign country, that's just... Yeah, well, they're, they're getting a little bit too big for their boots, right? Because, you know, they're yeah. sort of more or less holding Europe to ransom by saying, give us millions of pounds or euros, otherwise we'll open floodgates, you know, and let everyone in. And it's a bit... They need to be brought down a peg or two, really. I think they're yeah. a little bit too big for their boots. Oh, definitely. The only problem is I don't think a lot of the European leaders have got the balls to do it to and I think they're just going to be, you know, pathetic, really. I mean, our... our Prime Minister, I mean, I can't stand him, David Cameron. I mean, he's being investigated now, and all he's having to release all these tax returns. And, you know, you got yeah, the, the Panama Ange files. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got Angela Merkel, who doesn't seem to be um, uh, particularly sort of uh, trustworthy, She's dynamic, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. She has nothing to do with government or anything. She's just there to be there. I think she just wanted to be Chancellor because. Well, she worked for Cole, he was Chancellor for 16 years. It seemed to be quite fun, so why not try it yourself? So I think that's basically what she thought. Yeah. 
Guys, is it about winter or summer? Do you know? Uh, you know, I don't know. I just, it's winter. Big spectate <laughs> reveals it's winter. Do we have U87 skins by any chance? Um, I use rooks. I mean, I did a pack, um, friends, of, of all the skins. I mean, and the pocket wolf skins and the um, the uh, 87 skins. I I just use rooks because they're really nice. They're very very nice. And, and I've got really exciting ones as well. I'll pop you a link in a minute. Uh, I just did it as a pack, a complete pack. I, I would assume they are on the uh, on the uh, yeah the box on, maybe. Yeah, if you go on the um, they, they probably are. If you go on the Dropbox, it's probably complete back. They're probably in there. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. The navigation icons are turned on. I guess we could keep them on so we get people on the server. Yeah. I think he's trying all sorts of different things, Nick, isn't he? I think he's just gonna. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the ideal scenario will be eventually, guys, we will fly some nice co ops, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite positive we will in the end, but oh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Just to get the uh, server filled up, so we have some solid data, how much it can handle. Sometimes, sometimes. I mean, this one was okay, I'd say, in the in the bigger picture, and uh, especially the the last couple of episodes were kind of interesting. But overall, it it lost a lot of I don't know the, the bug factor that it had, and it's it's somehow always the same. Yeah, uh, I I actually really enjoyed it. The first couple of seasons, two or three seasons, well, well actually up to season four, I really enjoyed it, and then after that. It started rapidly going down. But the last season, as you said, had some good episodes, but overall, I just thought, you know, I mean, Rick was a dickhead for taking everybody out of uh, Alexander to, to see yeah. Dugan, you know. Let's, let's just it, go it, take everyone. Exactly. It makes no sense. He's just. And but, uh, and it's always the same. I mean, they, they are in a little camp in the forest. It gets overrun by walkers. They flee. They find the farm. It gets overrun by walkers. They flee. They find the prison. It gets overrun. They flee. <laughs> it's. I don't know. It's just. Yeah. At some point, it it gets old, and that point was two years ago or so. Yeah. It's like they they spent a whole season, and showed them walking to terminus. Yeah. They arrived in terminus, and we got, motherfucking cannibals. And it started being interesting, and they killed the, the, the cannibals off after one episode. Yeah. I mean, what the hell? Do you guys want to invite your mate? Sure, you get him on Teams or something. Or is he? Is he just want to fly on his own at the minute, guys? Uh, I I don't know. Do you want to ask him, wait? Who? <coughs> Sheriff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think he likes you more than me, so... <laughs> well... Um, I can do that, yeah. Hang on, I'm, I'm in the dogfight at the moment, so I'm a bit... busy, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Oh. Yeah, need to... Um, actually, I'm gonna stop flying myself, so... 
hang on. Ditch the plane first. I'm gonna do some UAD 7 flying. I haven't flown the Stuka in, in ages. I think since the 110 was released, I only flew it once. I like the Stuka. It's a nice plane, but it's.